I'm sorry, I got that heat, let's go. Hey yo, what's up people, it's Vitas Tech, and as you can probably tell from your inbox, it's Samsung Day. You've been flooded with 101 videos and you still stop by to check mine out, so I want to say I appreciate that. Not going to keep you here for too long, just wanted to do a quick unboxing and give you my first impressions. Now everyone is hyping up the white color and the burgundy, but personally, I think I definitely made the right decision and went with this green. Now, one thing I low-key forgot was that the back is now a matte finish, so even though I've been playing with it for like the last 35-40 minutes, it's not picking up the fingerprints. Now, I thought with the Note 20 picking up the white, I wouldn't have as many fingerprints. I was dead wrong there. So far, picking up very few fingerprints. My fingers are pretty oily and still not picking up the most. So definitely big ups to Samsung for doing that. And also the other thing, the camera bumps. Now these, this camera layout is way more smoother than what was on the Note 20 Ultra. Now I'm not gonna lie, over time, it didn't grow on me like people said it would, but I did get used to sort of like a, putting my finger underneath the camera hump for like a different way of holding on to it with this as soon as you throw a case on it that's pretty much going to disappear this is just a way cleaner layout than what it is on the note 20 ultra now i'm not saying this is like the worst thing around i'm just saying this is better and one more thing i've been seeing people talk about the back of this device looks like a spider do you see it i mean i can kind of see it but People's been freaking out talking about these devices as giving them a paranoid feeling because it looks like a spider. I don't think it looks that bad. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But overall, I've been playing with it for like 35, 40 minutes. It is definitely a familiar feeling device. I'm not going to say I dislike that in any way. But yeah, if you've had a Samsung device in the last few years, few <laughs> let me try that one more time. If you've had a Samsung device in the last few years, you're definitely going to know your way around it. No big surprises so far. Now, I did have to go in. Make sure if you pick this up, go into your settings, hit display. Make sure that your adaptive smoothness is on and also that your device has full resolution because when i first got into it it was still on full hd so make sure since you paid all this money make sure you are getting the max from this device now on the note 20 ultra you could only have 1080p to have 120 on here you can go all out so that is one thing i'm looking forward to really want to see if i can really tell the difference between wqhd 120 and full hd plus 120 so looking forward to that overall so far it's a samsung device you're not really going to notice that much of a difference in less than an hour i do want to pop open the cameras real quick take a quick photo let's grab let's grab miles for our photo shoot let's snap a quick picture boom let's go ahead and check it out first snap looks absolutely amazing so definitely looking forward to getting into the cameras and seeing what's new in here you have your portrait your photo your video your more pro pro video single take night mode now samsung was really hyping up the night mode feature on this device so definitely gonna play with that very soon you got your food your panorama super slow mode slow motion hyperlapse portrait video and director's view now i am a huge fan of director's view so i will be playing with that also pro video you can now have all of your cameras shooting so definitely want to play with that i'm gonna be doing a lot of camera stuff i'm not sure if i'm gonna release any camera content content because that's not really what i do but who knows got some new cameras want to play with them 
overall i mean it's not like you can complain about this device just got it in hand it feels very familiar looks absolutely amazing one thing i will say the bottom of this device make sure you aren't sticking your uh your what is it the sim ejector tool into the mic cut out here they put those way too close they could have separated that a little bit the s pen feels really good so far i like the little touch of the end of your s pen tip is the same color as your device really like that that's some swagger you also can't put the s pen in any in the like the wrong position there is no wrong way of putting the s pen in definitely like that now they said that this year the s pen is even faster than what it's been before we'll see about that now i am a big user of the s pen so gonna be playing with that a lot but yeah don't want to keep you here for too long just wanted to give my first impression so far really feeling it they killed it with this green and the matte bat matte black did i say matte black i am try to say that fast matte back matte back matte back now i got it down maybe i won't mess up anymore <laughs> But yeah, thanks for dropping by. This was just my first impressions of the S22 Ultra, aka, aka the Note 22 Ultra. Yes, I'm going to say that. Call it the Note until it proves me wrong. So far, the only thing that it doesn't have is the SD card slot. I mean, the micro SD card slot. But so far, it's a Note. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll catch you later. Deuces.